hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is akosia benhini if you're new you're welcome in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys a very beginner friendly eyeshadow tutorial i know that a lot of you don't like putting on eyeshadow because you feel like eyeshadow doesn't look good on dark skin i don't know who lied to you like eyeshadow you just need to know how to work around it so today i'm breaking it all down breaking product breaking steps breaking everything down for you and it's going to be very beginner friendly and it's not going to be colors that's over the top colors that you can wear you know what i mean so this is something that i'm very sure that you're gonna love so keep on watching this video give me a huge thumbs up i have my jacket on because i'm cold <laughs> but give me a huge thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that and also like i said i'd love for you guys to comment below which kind of tutorials you'd want to see on the channel because i'd love to do it for you so keep on watching let's have fun in this tutorial and yeah let's get into the video <music> Okay, so because this video is not like a whole full face makeup tutorial, I'm not going to be going through my base with you guys. So if you want to see how I do my base, I definitely do have a lot of videos on how to do like a foundation routine and all of that stuff. So I'll link them in the description box below, but I'm going to go straight in and do my base, come back and then we'll get into the eyes just so that we're focused, you know class <laughs> just so that we're focused on what we're doing today i just wanted to be on the eye so that's gonna be it if you want any other thing you gotta go back to the channel you gotta go back okay so my base is done my brows everything is literally done so let's just get into the eyes for eyeshadow <laughs> for eyeshadow definitely you need an eyeshadow to start off you need an eyeshadow primer or you need to prep the area so um there there's a difference be between eyeshadow primers and eyeshadow concealers you know like there's a difference between concealers and primers primers eyeshadow primers are purposely made for eyeshadow is made to hold your eyeshadow for a long time um, some eyeshadow primers give you depth as well but the main purpose of an eyeshadow primer is just to hold the colors is just to hold the eyeshadow in that area for a long time but over time i have been loving using regular concealers for my eyeshadow in all honesty since i started doing my makeup i have rarely used like an eyeshadow primer except if it's a glitter primer then that is different um so i'm going to show you guys a few concealers that i use to do my eyeshadow area but because it's eyeshadow and because you're putting on color and stuff like that you want it to show so you can't just use like a regular concealer for that area you need to use a concealer that is very light or like five steps lighter than your skin in order for it to show this is elf this is the elf 16 hour camo camo concealer in the shade light beige so usually anything that is beige light beige medium beige should work for dark skin people for eyeshadow area this stuff is so light let me just swatch really quick here so that you see what i mean is so light it's super light so this um the lighter the concealer the more color you get the more depth is going to give you the eyeshadow colors that you're going to put on so whenever i want my colors to show up a lot more i'll go for eyeshadow concealers that are very very light and i have days also when i'll use this this is just my regular concealer but it's you know you guys know that i like my concealer to be a little lighter so this also will make your color show but not as much as this will make your color show so you see the difference the lighter the concealer the more depth you get with your eyeshadow look this is just a regular see very close to my skin shade not so far from my skin shade and then the last girl that i'm going to show you obviously i wasn't going to go away without showing you ellie girl ellie girl pro concealer this in the shade pure beige as well this is also really light really light you see the difference between this and that so this will make your eyeshadow show up a lot more than this and that's just that's some period <laughs> so i'm gonna go in with um i'm trying to be very light with my makeup today so because i have to go to town eventually so i'm gonna go in with my elf 16 hour camo concealer in the shade deep caramel this is not so light but you guys will see when i put it on see it's not so light but the color will still show up eventually the color will show up don't don't worry the color will show up it just won't give you 
like if it's dark brown it won't give you very dark brown vibe you know so you want to be sure of that as well for blending you need a concealer brush to blend the area because you're going to keep it in just that area so you need a concealer brush to blend the concealer so i'm just going to keep it on my lid i'm just going to try as much as possible not to take it around my brow area because i already worked on my brow did my brows set my brows concealed my brows did all of that stuff so i'm going to keep it right down here but also i will be merging it i'm trying to merge it with the products that i have around my brow area because you don't want it sitting and then looking different you see see it matches just perfectly so whilst you blend you're also dragging your brow product and then blending that into it as well just so that the whole area looks seamlessly done and then now i'm gonna go ahead and slightly not slightly lightly set it with a translucent powder i'm using the Espon loose face powder this is by far the lightest powder that i have on hand right now so i'm just taking a fluffy brush and what this is going to do is it's going to help the concealer also stay in place this is this setting will hold the concealer not too much powder just a little bit of powder to set the concealer in place just so that the concealer doesn't move it doesn't crack you don't have you know when you open keep opening and closing your eyes you have all those lines around that area this will help your concealer just stay flat stay put no problem and then now the next step which is the eyeshadow itself for a beginner i'd say that you need just three brushes to start this off you need two fluffy brushes two fluffy brushes so what a fluffy brush means is that it's like it has it's packed but also it's soft and has like very like big bristles like it has like open bristles you know it's not it's not steady it's not flat it's fluffy it's like a dog basically you know how dog hairs are it's all over the place fluffy that's what you want to look at anytime you hear fluffy brush you want to make sure that the brush is open fluffy you know anything that anything that has hairs that is not stuck together is fluffy so this is fluffy and then you're going to need a flat brush so this flat what a flat brush is is a brush that has a flat edge basically so it's just flat and flat brushes are usually used to pack on color like packing on glitter color packing on a matte color um it's it's a kind of brush that you use to place color in a way that it will move you know and then you can't use this to blend no you can't use a flat top brush to blend um, but today i'm going to use the violet voss essentials palette it's called an essential palette for a reason it has like colors that are like neutrals you know like browns this color right here this color right here this color right here all of these shades are like neutrals that you can just work around and they are perfect with each other they work they marry each other just in just the best way possible so today we're just going to use two three colors like i said we're going to use three colors let me just show them to you we're using this brown shade today and then we're going to use this around it to blend the area around it and then we're going to put this on our crease this right here on our crease so you guys will see how that goes now the reason why you need two blending brushes we're going to use one of the blending brush for the crease color which is the brown shade that i'm going to use pack the color literally just pack the color onto the brush tap off the excess when you tap off the excess it doesn't mean that you're tapping off the product you're tapping off the excess product and then now your crease is literally <laughs> your crease is the center part between you know where your brow bone ends so right beneath your brow bone right beneath your brow bone and right where your eye egg <laughs> I don't know if that's the egg but this this eye thing right where you see that the egg is so right here is your crease so right here so the first thing that I do is I pack on the color I literally just tap 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 without trying to blend or swipe or do anything I'm just tapping and then packing on the color because I want the color to show and in order for you to get the color to show you need to keep adding on color that's one thing with eyeshadow 
you want to make sure that you're building the color rather than just thinking that an eyeshadow palette doesn't have um, pigments because you don't know how to do eyeshadow <laughs> if you don't know how to do eyeshadow that's different don't want to be blaming somebody that their eyeshadow palette is not working you know I'm just saying you just want to keep on packing the color keep on building the depth that you want and then when you finally see that you have that depth you're good you can stop and then you can go to your next shade so see you guys already see the brown told you this eye Con this concealer would definitely let it show but this would have made it a lot more deeper brown than this brown makes sense yeah and then now i'm gonna go ahead and start trying to blend it out so blending it out literally means that you're blending it out <laughs> do you understand you're blending it out in a way that it doesn't look like you're you just packed on the color you see when i pack on the color you definitely do see like a stump around that area but when you blend it out and the, it then gives you like a much more softer kind of look it gives you a lot more softer um area you know all of that so as you can see the more i pack on color the more you see the brown showing the more i pack on color the more the brown is just doing amazing <laughs> so now the second fluffy brush the second fluffy brush takes a much more lighter color right here this is terracotta that's that's what i have here but it's just a lighter shade of orange and another thing that you want to also keep in mind is whichever colors you're using you want to use colors that marry each other well you know we have color wheels and stuff like that some colors don't go well with other colors well it's eyeshadow as well so it's colors you're working with colors you're working around color so you want to know what color will match with what so definitely brown and orange is okay brown and nude is okay you know you want to make sure you're working around colors that work well together not colors that are off 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 and then you're just putting them on your eyes no so um a little bit of the orange just to go at the tips or at the edges of the brown just to give it a much more softer looking brown so you definitely do see that um, it just makes it soft it doesn't it just makes it soft and then blends it in further just so that you see a difference between um the depth that you have here and then the lightness that you have here so that's it for the lid color we're not going to use glitter we're just going to use a matte shade so for a matte shade i'm not going to cut my crease i'm not going to do anything because i want it to be very simple that's why you need a flat brush so a flat brush will help you just concentrate in that small area and just work around that area and then that's it that's all you need to do and it's also kind of hard for matte shadows like this to show up sometimes so that's why people like to cut their crease before they even go in to top top it up with the shade and also putting a concealer there before adding the shade or the eyeshadow shade just makes the color pop a lot more let me just be honest about that it makes the color pop way 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 better and you see because it's a flat brush i can keep talking i can do anything and it will still do what it's supposed to do as long as i'm putting it in the area where i want it to be so that's what a flat brush will do it just places the color it's just a respectful flat brush so we're just gonna go back into the darker shade the darker shade just take oh not the black the dark <laughs> then now we're going to blend the lid color and the crease color together at the point where they meet basically at the tip here where they meet so the trick for doing that is you want to drag each color into each other just a little bit teeny weeny bit you don't want to keep dragging because then you're going to mess up the lid color because there's no concealer holding the lid color so keep that in mind so see it gives you like a nice ombre blend that's why i was telling you you need to make sure that whatever colors you're putting together are colors that should work together so orange brown nude brown slight pink brown like rose gold pink brown they all work together brown dark brown is a very good shadow color for like doing your crease It's the perfect crease color for our skin type if you get a good dark brown that shows up on your skin keep it don't 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 go nowhere okay <laughs> don't go nowhere just keep it so when that is blended and then i just move this you know just to 
just to finish it off nothing extra but literally that is it that is the two-step eyeshadow that you need to do or three-step maybe very simple very very simple trust me you don't need to do too much so that is literally it for what you're going to do for your eye area but to finish off the whole eyeshadow look you want to make sure that you're doing your lower lid that's the last thing that's not so difficult it's not so much of a tutorial you just take the dark brown shade or whichever color you use on your crease that's usually what i do i look at what color i use on my crease or you know like it's usually what color i use on my crease and then i'm just going to use that and then same fluffy brush but you want to make sure that you're keeping it right under your eye right under your eye because it's fluffy and it's big so it can spread into other areas but if you have a flat top brush that you can use for that you definitely do it but i'm used to doing this so yeah so i'm just gonna open my eyes really wide see, see the difference that it makes see i have that shade here and then i have no shade here so this literally completes the whole eye area you can do this and then you're done put on your mascara and decide to be done except if you're as extra as myself um but yeah putting the darker shade right under your eye you're gonna line your eye for your liner i'm taking or for my liner i'm taking the maybelline colossal kajal i usually don't like to use black but it makes your eyeshadow pop it makes your eye area it makes your eye itself open up a lot more so i'm gonna put a very slight amount and then now you're gonna go in with your mascara i'm using the wet and wild mega length mascara this is a lengthening mascara so i have my mascara on and you see how would you tell me that eyeshadow doesn't look good on dark skin like how don't tell me colored eyeshadow don't even say it because i will do a colored eyeshadow tutorial and show you how good it's gonna look i said that i was gonna bring a tutorials i mean i was gonna bring a set of tutorials on eyeshadow looks don't worry they are all gonna come um just want to start with a very beginner friendly one just so that you guys know how to start no at least now you know the three basic brushes that you can use to do your eyeshadow and just three basic brushes can give you an eyeshadow looking like this if i put on my lashes this whole eyeshadow is going to go to the next level but yeah let me finish my look put on my lashes to all of that good stuff and then i'll come back and then i'll show you literally how it all looks like but it looks good like this see it looks perfect like it's beautiful like this okay guys so this is the look all put together is tell me tell me that this is not something this is not potential eyeshadow for for you to fall in love with you know what i mean like this is something that even i am in love with so this is literally it tell me in the comment section below what you think of this eyeshadow look is this something that you're gonna rock are you gonna try to do the steps that i shared with you in this video if you are please definitely share with me in the comment section below if you have also any questions you want to ask definitely feel feel free feel free to ask me whatever questions you want to ask in the comment section below i am always available to answer um give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that thank you so much for watching i love you guys 